Geert Wilders, a far-right firebrand politician, shocked Europe and the Netherlands yesterday with his monster victory in the general election. The 60-year-old, dubbed the Dutch Trump, is anti-Islamic and was previously turned away from Britain's Heathrow Airport for being too radical. Today, he has an uphill battle to win over opponents in order to build a coalition government in Parliament. Nearly complete results show that his PVV, Freedom Party, gained 37 seats, more than doubling his share from the last election and surpassing rivals. With 25 seats, a left-wing coalition came in far behind the center-right VVD with 24 seats. This was a disastrous outcome for the party of departing Prime Minister Mark Rutte. As a result, during a period of political unrest throughout most of the continent, Wilders is poised to head negotiations to create a new ruling coalition in the 150-seat parliament and perhaps even take the helm as the nation's first hard-right prime minister. I had to sever my arm, exulted Wilders. Speaking to jubilant supporters in The Hague subsequent to the exit polls, he reiterated his anti-immigrant discourse, asserting that the Dutch had chosen to halt the tsunami of asylum seekers. He exclaimed, the PVV can no longer be ignored, and he pleaded with the other sides to reach an agreement. Fellow far-right politicians in France and Hungary congratulated Wilders on his unexpected victory but it is likely to cause anxiety in Brussels as he is anti-EU and wants a referendum on an exit to leave the EU. Following the results of the exit poll, Marine Le Pen of France praised the spectacular performance of Hungary's populist Prime Minister Viktor Orban, who was greeted with winds of change. Muslim community leaders in the Netherlands expressed alarm at the PVV platform, which calls for the removal of the Koran, mosques, and Islamic headscarves, even though he moderated his anti-Islamic remarks throughout the campaign. In an initial response captured on camera and shared on social media, Wilders threw open his arms, buried his face in his palms, and exclaimed, 35, a precise number of seats and exit poll predicted his party for freedom, or PVV, would win. Since then, it has increased to 37. However, it is unclear how he would manage to secure the 76 seats required for a majority in the 150-seat parliament as of Thursday morning. After his green slash labor bloc finished second, former European Commissioner Franz Timmermans immediately ruled out cooperation, stating that their duty was now to defend democracy in the nation. Peter Omtzit, the anti-corruption crusader whose new social contract party captured 20 seats, is expected to be involved and made it clear he was ready for negotiations, though he acknowledged they would not be simple. On election night, Dylan Yasilgos, who guided the center-right VVD to a dismal 24 seats, played it cool, stating that Wilders would have to see if he can form a coalition. She initially made it possible for Wilders to join a government run by the VVD but she has made it clear that she would not work for him. Following Wilders' landslide victory, Diederik van Wijk of the Klingendal Institute told the AFP news agency that the Netherlands was now in uncharted territory. There might be a Prime Minister Wilders close at hand, he stated. The margin of Wilders' victory stunned the Dutch media. The True Daily reported that nobody expected this, not even the winner himself. The normally stoic Nos national broadcaster referred to it as a monster victory, a term that appeared in other media outlets. The NRC Daily characterizes the outcome as a right-wing populist revolt that will shake the bin in half to its foundations, alluding to the Hague's government district. The financial Dagblad declared that the outcome turns politics in the Hague on its head. Despite putting some of his more extreme beliefs on Islam and the Frieza, Wilders attempted to soften his message during his campaign and has made a career out of his self-appointed quest to stop Islamic invasion of the West. He reiterated that he will serve as prime minister for all people regardless of their religion, background, sex or whatever, and that the pressing issue of rising living expenses should take precedence over all other matters. However, his detractors claim that his PVV manifesto presents a different picture. Wilders is dubbed the Dutch Trump for his hateful remarks directed towards Muslims and immigrants, in addition to his swept-back dyed hair style that pays homage to the former U.S. president. With his self-appointed mission to halt Islamic invasion of the West, 
Wilders has made a career out of disparaging Moroccans as come and organizing competitions for cartoons of the Prophet Mohammed. The PVV manifesto states, in classic Wilders hyperbole, that Dutch families must cut back on groceries while asylum seekers feast on delightful free cruise ship buffets. The program suggests outlawing mosques, Qurans, and Islamic schools. Government buildings would be prohibited from wearing head coverings. It continues, the Netherlands is not an Islamic nation. The British government denied him entry into the nation in 2009, citing his potential to undermine community harmony and therefore public security. In February of that year, he landed at London's Heathrow Airport and was turned back. A member of the House of Lords sent an invitation to Wilders to present his 15-minute video, Fitna, which calls the Quran a fascist book and critiques it. In 2008, the film provoked violent protests around the Muslim world by fusing footage of terrorist atrocities with passages from the Quran. After Wilders challenged the judgment, Britain's Asylum and Immigration Tribunal overturned it. At the time, the ruling was praised as a fantastic decision. Leaders of the Muslim community in the Netherlands expressed alarm immediately after the results revealed his overwhelming victory. I'm not sure if Muslims in the Netherlands are still safe. Tabi Belkadori of the SMN Union of Moroccan Dutch told the local agency ANP, I am worried about this cunny. The results of the exit poll caused 60-year-old business manager Lizak Kieser of Enschede, in the east of the Netherlands, to experience heart palpitation. The direction of the nation is becoming more right-wing. We hope that this doesn't end up being the whole situation, Kieser continued. In addition, he ran on a platform advocating for a binding referendum on Nexit or the prospect of the Netherlands exiting the EU. Moreover, the PVV demands an immediate halt to development assistance. There are obvious similarities between Trump and foreign policy. The manifesto declares, Netherlands first, in order to help Israel, a close friend and the only true democracy in the Middle East, the PVV planned to relocate the Dutch embassy to Jerusalem. Despite run-ins with the law and threats to his life, Wilders has remained defiant and has been under continual police protection since 2004. In an interview with AFP prior to the 2021 election, Wilders stated, I don't regret fighting for Freon. Naturally, I make a stand. Both my nation and I are under attack. In 2016, he was convicted of discriminatory remarks he had made against Moroccan immigrants to the Netherlands. He had previously compared the Koran to Adolf Hitler's mean camp, arguing that both texts ought to be outlawed. Following death threats, Wilders had to postpone plans for a cartoon competition featuring the Prophet Mohammed in 2018. Kate Parker of the Economist Intelligence Unit issued a warning as the results came in, stating that a vote in favor of Nexit would result in a constitutional stalemate in the nation. The predicted election win of Wilders, according to French finance minister Bruno Le Maire, is a result of all the fears that are emerging in Europe regarding immigration and the economy. On Thursday, Le Maire did, however, also assert on Francais Info Radio that the Netherlands are not France. However, Wilders told reporters upon casting his ballot that while it may not be what other parties in Europe or other nations aim for, hey, that's democracy. He was running for office for the sixth time, having gone very nearly several times in a spectacular upset. As he cast his ballot, Wilders told reporters, When I left my old party, the VVD, I said one day we will become the biggest party. It appears that his long-awaited forecast has come true if the exit polls are accurate. Wilders was raised in a Catholic household alongside his brother and two sisters after being born in 1963 in southern Venlo, near the German border. Wilders hardly ever discusses the fact that his mother is half Indonesian. According to his older brother Paul, he became interested in politics in the 1980s and spoke with Der Spiegel magazine. At the time, he wasn't overtly left or right, nor was he prejudiced against foreigners. However, Paul Wilders stated that he was enthralled with the political game, the competition for influence and power. It seemed that his hate of Islam had grown gradually. He lived on a kibbutz in Israel for a while and saw Palestinian tensions firsthand. 
The killings of extremist anti-Islamic filmmaker Theo Van Gogh in 2004 and far-right activist Pim Fortine in 2002 also upset him. He described his reaction to learning of Van Gogh's death in a 2012 book, saying, I remember my legs were shaking with shock and indignation. It's true that I experienced anger rather than fear. In 1998, Wilders joined the liberal VVD party and entered politics. In the early years of his political career, he began bleaching his brown hair blonde and developed his media skills, despite the fact that his opinions were being ignored more and more. Over time, despite being found guilty of insulting Moroccan Dutch nationals, he swore not to be silenced. In fact, several months after Brexit and right before Donald Trump emerged victorious in the U.S. presidential election, that high public trial increased his profile. He left the VVD in 2006 to start his own party, which rose to the second position in the parliament in 2017 before slipping back to the third position in 2021. Additionally, Wilders succeeded in moving the Dutch political discourse to the right by exploiting a vein of dissatisfaction among the people. However, Wilders also made a solitary impren. He wed a Hungarian woman, but the couple never had kids. On one social media account, he shared insulting remarks about Islam, while on another he shared images of their cats. He was the sole member of his own party. Furthermore, his security kept him mostly cut off from the outside world. His brother told Der Spiegel, Geert's world has become very small. It includes his apartment, public events, and a parlor. He scarcely has any place else to go.